here's a morning that we're heading for work. Yeah. Get to drive to work in this kind of weather six, eight times a year. And I grew up in it, so it doesn't even bother me to drive in this kind of weather. But, uh, this is all slickered and snot. There's a layer of ice because the road was warm yesterday when it was sunny out. And then it froze over and snowed on top of it all night. The temperature is currently 18 degrees. And here we go. But, uh, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of doing this so that I can get to work in the morning. And that's part of why we're thinking about buying that boat. Why we're dreaming about buying a boat. And maybe by the time I put this on the internet I would have already bought a boat show you what it's like at work here on another video or if I already did whichever way it works out uh, we'll do that too so we're here for dealing with the boat after buying the boat we're gonna meet up with the uh, original owner today and get title transferred there's San Francisco kind of off in the background you can see the, the uh, west end of the Bay Bridge on the left, this is the yacht club, and that's the marina. I was got other video of. This is Clipper Cove. This uh, trimaran and catamaran out in the middle, anchored down, and that's that new bridge with the old bridge in the background. The new one's the white one, obviously. But that is the last day. Isn't that a beautiful fog laying in over there? <laughs> Snowing and 18 degrees in Colorado today. Hope our plane doesn't get delayed tomorrow. The fact that I am loving life today. We are, uh, it's like 5.30 in the morning. I'm taking the trash up to this trash can at the end of the secure pier. See our nasty looks almost like a prison gate. Only goes right there. Barbed wire, see. There you can see that. I might not, it's too dark. You can see it right there. So garbage is out. Yeah, we'll stay this way. Sorry. This is the San Francisco the new San Francisco Bay Bridge with the old San Francisco Bay Bridge behind it with the upper level collapsed on the lower level in one of the earthquakes. They're, uh, they just opened the big beautiful bridge and they uh, have construction equipment all over the old bridges. They dismantle that giant beast behind it. This is the winery which is on Treasure Island this point right here where you can see these wine barrels is I've seen 15 people come over here and take pictures of this bridge in the last two days everyone everyone wants a picture of that bridge now you can kind of see a bridge well, let's see here let me back up get to the peak you see the other side of the Bay Bridge on the other side of this island here heading over to San Francisco over there and the Golden Gates somewhere right back behind that and so is Alcatraz uh, this island used to be a military base and this is called Clipper Cove right here uh, going around right here where the roads coming down you see a car right over there it closes off in the corner because they used to store a couple of old big clipper ships out here that's what the guy told us last night over at the bar behind me. There's a this boat right here is one of the types of boats I was looking at buying. It's an S2 9.2 with a center cockpit, so it's a C, and it has a bedroom in the back. Most of the other boats look pretty much just like our boat, as in mine, with the wonderful assistance of my buddy Jerry who is a blind man and will be sailing with me when we can 
get him out here from his coffee company, The Unseen Bean, in Boulder, Colorado. This is a dream of both of us. So, this is our finger. This is our boat. It needs paint on the deck. This is all separate. This is like grippy paint that came off. These windows have this really cheesy fake stained glass all over them. But, uh, supposedly two mains. I'm giving a video tour of the boat, Jerry. So, here's the transom. Got our little triangular or uh, U-shaped life buoy thing. There's all kinds of stuff attached back here. This is a crab bait trap because there's Dungeness crab right down there all over the place. This is our grill, a fishing pole they left for us, our tiller which is tied up, attaches down here, there's some stowage there and some stowage under, our, under this bench. Our motor's right here, our controls are right here, which are backwards. We got six sets of winch, or six winches, and lots of handles. They're all over the place. Manual bilge pump back here. There's our shore power. <clears throat> this hatch up here in front, we've got it all gorilla taped so that it doesn't leak because it's just all the the anti-leak insulation is just gone, so it's metal to metal. We've got brand new hatches. Here's Jerry. If you can see Jerry, it's kind of dark, Yay. but yeah. <laughs> We're making coffee. Watch out, Jerry. You got the, the hot pots on your right foot. And uh, my new cup is on the left. This is our little transom door thing. So it fits right into this little groove, if you can see that. He's locking me in. <laughs> So, here's the boat. Different angle. It's the sunset. Got a gorgeous sunset over there. If you can only see, see, look at how hard to get the camera to see that, but it's uh, pretty cool how it's falling behind those palm trees. So, you look at our boat. I've moved the, the uh, floats around. They jammed this 12 foot boat into a 10 foot wide uh, slip. And even though these fingers are movable and that one's obviously flexed way out, it's uh, just barely squeezing in there. And it really is just really getting tweaked. So I moved these two bumpers over to this side that are really pushing that finger out. And I put my two smaller ones back on this side. And uh, basically, because these are all attached to their boats, uh, this finger's solid. That one over there, it's now squeezing over towards uh, their little worker boat. So, if you look at our boat, you can see the shape of the hull. Walk over this way. You can really see the almost straight up sides. You know, there's, there's no real pregnancy to the hull like this boat. See this boat, the sides are rounded off. You know, very bulgy. Uh, but otherwise, technically, this boat really doesn't look much different than ours. I mean, when you get right down to it, it's barely different. And we got this one is similar to ours in how non-bulgy the sides are. But again, if you step down a little ways, you see that it pretty much looks the same too. <laughs> and then we have this one. It's a little flatter on the top. You know, like the actual deck is much more, much flatter than ours. And they've got vents and stuff. But its hull is similar in shape to ours. And again, overall, it looks pretty much the same. Again. 
And my point is, is that these things look all, they all look the same. And not all of them, obviously. That one over there, Weebles. Yeah. Zoom in on Weebles. That one is kind of a tall fishing boat thing. But it's still got a mast. And I did pick up the boat. Uh, here's me. Uh, or I did uh, get the title signed, I should say. He just drove up, got out of the car, offered to shake my hand, and uh, handed me the title, got in his car, and left. So that cost me roughly a thousand dollars. Now the only reason it totally cost six fifty for their the round trip flight at the last minute. Uh, 180 bucks for the rent a car, and uh, basically, uh, when I got over to the DMV, well, when we were here last time, I, I met uh, with Connor and gave him a hundred dollars to cover his, you know, his fees with Jerry never transferring the title to the boat, and uh, so he went and got a new title issued, and on the 20. 6th of March. It's now like the, I think today's like the 8th of May. Uh, so, you know, a month and a week. Uh, he refused to send me the thing. And uh, then he complained about how it cost him all this money. And I get over to the DMV, and it's a little different than Colorado. You wait in line. When you get to the head of the line, they give you, you know, they find out what you're about, and they put your number into the into the system, and then they uh, uh, give you a number. Uh, they, you know, you, then you go sit down and wait for your number to be called. But uh, I get up there, and it's like 75 bucks to pay for the fees, which is 25 bucks less than I paid Connor. And then the woman says, "Oh, but Connor bounced the check to them for, to the DMV." So if you want to title this, which was the hundred bucks I gave Connor when I was out here the last time. So the guy's out in California is a thief and a liar and a cheat. And what's ironic is that the guy I bought the boat from, Jerry, uh, he was a weird, slimy kind of guy, you know. He wasn't exactly all there. But uh, I paid him for a boat. And guess what? I have the boat. I didn't pay extra for the boat other than paying for the excess fees. I paid for the boat once and the boat's mine. And so, ironically, the, the scammy conniver guy in the end didn't rip me off at all. But the guy who just needed to sign his name on the piece of paper uh, did steal from me. And... Uh, so I thought that was a weird twist of events because for two months I've been all upset with that Jerry guy. And uh, here it turned out that the guy he was messing with, however you want to look at it because I'm not saying he was in the right, but uh, you know, the guy that he was dealing with that owned the boat before him was a serious scam or you know, liar and cheat. So what can you do? Anyway, it's my boat. And uh, now the next thing is to get me out here and get the boat fixed. And uh, I fly home in the morning tomorrow. And I'm, I'm so happy. I got great pictures of the engine. I got video of the engine. I got, uh, you know, pictures and video of pretty much the entire boat and half the marina. How they've got me jammed into a really tiny slip, way too small for this boat. But uh, one of the fingers flexed over, so it's okay. Uh, and... Uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, what a weekend. Uh, go back and see what I can do to the house next and get it up for sale because there's barely anything left in it. And that's the end of that. I'll uh, let you end with this view over here if you can see it. There we go.